art friends. Today we are going to draw a cute butterfly. Yeah, and a colorful one. We hope you're going to follow along and need your drawing supplies. We like using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using Canton marker paper to draw on. I love this brand because it protects the table, but also keeps our markers lasting long. Okay, let's start by drawing our butterfly's eyes. Oh, we could draw the smile first. Let's draw a little smile right here in the middle of our paper. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle right here on the left and the same size circle over here on the right. Then we can also draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye. This is the reflection or the highlight. This makes the eyes look shiny. So let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. I also like how that makes the eyes look extra friendly. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, now let's draw our butterfly's head. I'm gonna start here and we're gonna draw the bottom of the head first. We're gonna come across to the other side and stop in the same place. So we have the cute little cheeks and then our chin. And then let's draw the top of our butterfly's head. We're gonna draw a big upside down U shape or a rainbow line to complete the shape of the head. Yeah, that looks really cute. You could even add eyelashes too if you want. I'm gonna leave those off. Uh, that's perfect. Okay, now let's draw the body and we'll just draw a simple letter U. I'm gonna draw it really skinny though and kind of tall. Yeah, and then we could also draw little lines going across the body like this. Now ready to draw the wings. And let's also draw a really fun design on, on the wings. Let's start here and we're gonna draw, I'm gonna start right here actually. I'm gonna come out like this and we'll come back in. Just the design on the wing. We're not gonna, the wing's gonna be a lot bigger. And then we're gonna repeat that same shape or design over here on this side too. Oh, I didn't come out as far. Maybe I'll, there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat the same thing, but let's draw it maybe a little smaller coming up. I'm gonna draw it coming up too on this side. And since it's symmetrical, the same on both sides, whatever we draw on the left, we'll also draw on the right. So I'm gonna draw another smaller design. There we go. Let's do one more. Maybe this one comes out and it's a little thicker. Come out, around, and then back in. Next, we can draw the outside shape of our wing. I'm gonna start right here next to the design. We'll come out past the designs, come back in, and then right here at the bottom, we'll come back to the design and follow it around. So we come out a little further towards the top. Yeah, you did it. Let's repeat that same design on the other side and we'll try to make it look just like the other one, but that's okay if it looks a little different. Oh, mine's gonna be different. <laughs> I think it's really tricky drawing symmetrical or trying to draw exactly the same. And that's okay if it looks different. Oh, you did a great job though. Yours looks exactly the same. Okay, now let's draw the bottom wings and we're gonna draw the same kind of design. So first let's draw little loops on each side coming down diagonal. And then we can draw smaller ones above that first one. And then maybe also a small one down here close to the body. Then let's draw the outside shape of the wing. I'm gonna try to follow the same shape of each of those little smaller designs too. And then we can do the same thing over here. Draw little bumps over each of the designs. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, let's also add antenna to our little butterfly. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna come up like this. And then at the very end, I'm gonna curve around into a little swirl. 
And then here we can also draw another line coming down and connecting to where we started. Let's draw another swirl for the other antenna. We'll try to match it, but go the other direction and swirl into the center. Yeah, and then we can also draw the other side to make it thicker down to the bottom. We did it! We finished our cute little butterfly, except we're not completely done. Nope, we still need to color it. Yes, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to use our drawings as inspiration for yours. Although, you could color your drawing any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our cute butterflies and they turned out perfect. I especially love yours with those cute little eyelashes. Thanks. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. Or you can color it any way you want. Yeah, and you can also use different supplies, like even colored pencils or crayons. But if you have the exact same Art for Kids Hub marker set that we're using, you could use the same colors. And we picked out a bunch. We used 88 pink for the body. I also used a lighter pink, 17, for the outside, but you could leave that off. 35 yellow and 66 blue for the wings. Yeah, and I also used some other colors to add shading. I used a darker 62 blue and also a 76 blue, and then 34 orange for shading on the yellow details. Then we also used a white colored pencil to add extra highlights on top of the marker. You could even add more things like a background. Oh yeah, you could draw a really cute flower that it's getting ready to land on or maybe other butterflies. We hope you had fun drawing a cute butterfly. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.